Which of the following gene is considered as a susceptibility gene for Crohn disease? Option A, CARD-15 gene. B, CARD-55 gene. C, CARD-75 gene. D, both A and C. E, all the above. Crohn's disease, or Crohn disease, is an inflammatory bowel disease that causes inflammation of the bowel. Unlike ulcerative colitis, which only affects the large intestine, Crohn disease causes inflammation and tissue destruction anywhere along the gastrointestinal tract, from the mouth to the anus. In Crohn disease, the immune system is thought to be triggered by some foreign pathogen in the gastrointestinal tract. Several pathogens have been implicated, like Mycobacterium paratuberculosis as well as Pseudomonas and Listeria species. These pathogens activate the immune system, and which further stimulate the inflammatory responses. The immune response is thought to be a product of genetics, and in fact, patients with family members that have Crohn disease are much more likely to develop it themselves. A number of genes have been identified and are thought to contribute to developing the disease. One of these is a frameshift mutation in the NOD2 gene, now called CARD-15. Unlike what we see in the other inflammatory bowel diseases, like ulcerative colitis which extends through the mucosa and submucosa, the damage and inflammation in Crohn disease extends beyond the submucosal layer and through the entire depth of the intestinal wall. Also, another distinction from ulcerative colitis is that these areas of inflammation are scattered as opposed to being continuous, and have areas of healthy tissue interspersed between inflamed areas. A final difference, as mentioned already, is that Crohn disease can affect any area of the GI tract, most commonly it affects both the ileum and colon, second most commonly just the ileum, and third most commonly just the colon. As more gastrointestinal tissue is damaged, patients might experience pain in the affected areas, commonly in the right lower quadrant which is associated with the ileum. Also, diarrhea and blood in the stool are common symptoms. Patients also may have malabsorption issues, since the small intestines are super important for absorbing nutrients. Treatment for Crohn disease usually involves antibiotics, anti-inflammatory medications, and immunosuppressants. Antibiotics such as metronidazole can reduce the bacterial overgrowth in the intestine, and also by curbing the immune response, since some antibiotics have anti-inflammatory effects as well. Anti-inflammatory medications, like sulfasalazine and antidiarrheals, are used for the symptom management. If patients have severe symptoms, they may be given immunosuppressants like corticosteroids, like prednisone, and azathioprine. Methotrexate, anti-TNF agents are also preferred in refractory cases. Beyond that, surgery and removal of the affected tissue is possible, but one really important distinction from the ulcerative colitis is that removal doesn't cure the disease, since inflammation can occur anywhere along the GI tract. Therefore the answer is option A. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.